Hello. Over the years, Cummins has been at the forefront of the development of high-performance off-highway engines with increased performance and durability that are more reliable and more environmentally friendly. To make engines more reliable and environmentally friendly, new advancements in fuel system technology were required. And to function optimally for a long period of time, these engines need to be well-maintained and supplied with clean, high-quality fuel. In this video, we'll take a look at the things you need to know about fuel quality and cleanliness to optimize engine durability. It all begins with understanding that the high-pressure common rail fuel system requires a new level of cleanliness when compared to older fuel systems. Some common contaminants found in today's fuels include water, microorganisms, wax, hard particles, debris, and other sediments. The entire fuel stream, from quality diesel fuel delivered on site, to storage on site, to dispensing diesel fuel in equipment, to the equipment's fuel tank and fuel filters, are susceptible to contaminants. Water can directly enter the fuel or can come from condensation when warm moisture laden air comes in contact with the cooler interior walls of the storage tank or the fuel itself. Microorganisms live in the water and feed on the hydrocarbons in the fuel. Wax can be formed when certain fuel components crystallize at low temperatures. Carbonaceous deposits may be formed when fuels are exposed to high temperatures and pressures. Sediments, such as dirt and rust, come from poor maintenance of equipment, improper storage, and the transferring of fuel from one place to another. The internal components of high-pressure common rail injectors are often extremely small and very susceptible to wear or sticking due to particles and other kinds of contamination. Wear of internal parts of the fuel system will decrease the life of components and may even cause malfunctions that could result in severe damage to the other engine components. With the extreme pressures of today's high-pressure common rail fuel systems, very small particles of dirt and rust can be converted into highly abrasive contaminants that could quickly destroy the high-pressure pumping components and fuel injectors. Because of these ultra-tight tolerances and threats from contamination, critical Cummins fuel system components are manufactured and remanufactured in conditions that are as clean as or cleaner than a hospital's operating room. In accordance with the Worldwide Fuel Charter, Cummins and other global engine manufacturers specify a minimum fuel cleanliness level of 181613 as measured by the ISO 4406 standard with a maximum water content of 200 parts per million. ISO 4406 provides a means of expressing the level of contamination by coding the size distribution. The means of expression is a three-number coding system, for example, 18, 16, and 13, that corresponds to the numbers of particles of a size greater than 4, 6, and 14 microns per milliliter, respectively. Unwanted particles are measured in microns. A micron is a unit of linear measure in the metric system used to measure distance from one point to another. The number 18 expresses that there will be a maximum of 2,500 particles equal to or larger than 4 microns. The number 16, that there will be a maximum of 640 particles equal to or larger than 6 microns. And the number 13, that there will be a maximum of 80 particles equal to or larger than 14 microns in a milliliter of fuel. Some simple math will help illustrate the importance of 181613 for fuel cleanliness. If a filter media's efficiency is 98.7%, that means 1.3% of the fuel particles do not get filtered out. At rated power, a QSK50 uses approximately 422 liters of fuel an hour. This means about 5.5 liters or 5,500 milliliters of fuel an hour does not get filtered. Okay, now let's say that the fuel meets the 181613 specification. This equates to 13.75 million particles larger than or equal to 4 microns, 3.52 million particles larger than or equal to 6 microns, and 440,000 particles 
larger than or equal to 14 microns are being passed by the filter every hour. A study carried out by Cummins Engineering has shown that fuel meeting the 1816-13 standard will dramatically increase the life of the injectors of a high-pressure common rail fuel system over fuel held to a lower standard. Longer fuel system component life means lower cost of operations. It is specified that the water content of diesel fuel should not exceed 200 parts per million. Parts per million denotes relative proportions in measured quantities. So 200 parts per million means that for every million units of fuel, there should be no more than 200 units of water. In practical terms, it means that in a 1,000 gallon tank, the amount of water should not exceed 2 tenths of a gallon. Fuel filtration is the process of fuel passing through a filter media in order to extract unwanted particles from the fuel. The particles and contaminants that we're trying to filter out are far smaller than can be seen with the naked eye or a magnifying glass or even a low-powered microscope. Let's take a close look at some typical Cummins fuel filtration requirements and relate them to some everyday items. 15 microns is equal to 6 ten thousandths of an inch, which is the approximate size of a single ragweed pollen. 10 microns is equal to 4 ten thousandths of an inch, which is slightly larger than a single red blood cell. 5 microns is equal to 2 ten thousandths of an inch, which is slightly smaller than baker's yeast. And 2 microns is equal to 8 one hundred thousandths of an inch, which is about the size of bacteria. A micron rating for a fuel filter is a generalized way of quantifying the ability of the filter's media to remove contaminants of a particular size. For example, a filter with a micron rating of 7 will filter out contaminants that are 7 microns or larger, and a filter with a micron rating of 3 will filter out contaminants that are 3 microns or larger. Filter efficiency refers to a measurement of the filter's retention efficiency. The measurement is typically the number of particles retained by a filter compared to the number of particles present in the fuel that will pass through the filter. A 7 micron fuel filter with 98.7% efficiency rating removes 98.7% of the particles at or above the 7 micron size. Cummins also measures the filter's ability to remove contaminants by calculating the beta ratio. The beta ratio is calculated by dividing the number of upstream particles by the number of downstream particles. Efficiency is a derivative and calculated by dividing the beta ratio minus 1 by the beta ratio. The picture on the screen shows a beta ratio of 10. The number of particles entering the filter is 10 and the number exiting is 1. 10 divided by 1 equals 10, which is the beta ratio. A fuel filter's media has a wide distribution of pore sizes. As the media ages, the smaller pores become filled, leaving the larger pores open. Smaller particles will pass freely through these larger pores. One last thing to consider is that not all particles are permanently trapped in the filter media. When these particles accumulate, some of them could be released due to normal equipment vibration or abrupt variations of fuel flow. This is another good reason to replace fuel filters as per the manufacturer recommendations. In recent years, several improvements have been made to the filter media, filter design, and filtration systems to improve micron rating and increase filter efficiency to prevent fuel flow from bypassing elements and to improve overall system robustness. Cummins filtration is leading the way with new nanonet filters. Be sure to use fleet guard filters with nanonet media on your Cummins engine. They provide up to 13 times greater protection against particles 4 microns and larger. A primary issue with off-highway equipment is the amount of vibration and shock loading that shakes the engine to its core. Nanonet does a better job of trapping particles in the first place and not allowing them to be dislodged under extreme shaking and vibration. Harmful particles aren't the only contaminant in fuel. Removing water is an equally critical function. Ordinary filters gradually absorb water over time and eventually let water pass through to the injectors. 
NanoNet's unique molecular structure never suffers any degradation of its exceptional water removal capability over the entire life of the fuel filter. The difference is especially evident when there's a slug of water which can quickly saturate conventional media and overwhelm it. Remember, three micron on-engine stage two filters should never be pre-filled. Even with the advancement of fuel filtration and using the most advanced technology available, fuel filters have not reached 100% efficiency. So the logical next step in preventing contaminants in the fuel system is for the fuel to already be clean to certain specifications before it ever reaches the filtration system of an engine. The actual point of delivery is the first place where your actions can prevent fuel from becoming contaminated. You should do everything possible to ensure that the environmental conditions such as rain, snow, and dust do not interfere with fuel delivery. The next step in maintaining the integrity of your diesel fuel is to keep it free of contamination during storage. The amount of time that it's in storage, the temperature at which it's stored, the composition of the fuel, creatures living in the fuel, many aspects of the tank itself, and contact with rust, zinc, copper, or their alloys can all result in contaminated diesel fuel. As with most things, time has an adverse effect on diesel fuel as well. Under normal storage conditions, the shelf life for diesel fuel is only 6 to 12 months, but in extreme conditions, that time could be much shorter. Temperature and humidity have adverse effects on diesel fuel. Warm, moisture-laden air that comes in contact with cold diesel fuel or a cold tank can cause the water in the air to condense. Warmer ambient temperatures can speed up the natural deterioration of diesel fuel. The composition of diesel fuel can vary dramatically depending on how and where it was produced. It can also vary in some areas to meet seasonal requirements. For example, fuel intended for warm weather may not perform properly in cold weather. Any opening, whether it is the fill port, ventilation, or hole caused by damage, is an easy, direct path for contaminants to enter the fuel. Damaged caps, seals, or gaskets are also perfect entryways for contamination. Corrosion of the inside of the tank from water or microorganisms will add to the contamination. It's important to ensure that all equipment that's used in the storing of diesel fuel is designed to work with diesel fuel. Maintaining fuel in a pristine condition while storing it is a challenging task. There are many opportunities to make improvements. First and foremost, routinely inspect and replace any and all worn or aged parts, including caps, seals, gaskets, and filters. Ensure that the ventilation is filtered. Use and properly maintain a recirculating filtration system for the stored fuel. Make sure that water bottoms are frequently drained. Completely empty and clean the tanks periodically. Your fuel supplier could help you determine the appropriate maintenance schedule. Ensure that you purchase the correct fuel for the environment that it will be stored in. Use the fuel that you have in a timely fashion. Ensure that all equipment that comes in contact with the fuel is designed to work with diesel fuel. And maintain detailed records on every aspect of the storing and transfer of the fuel. While it is a common and often acceptable practice to put additives in the diesel fuel, Cummins Inc. neither approves nor disapproves of the use of any fuel additive by name that is not manufactured or sold by Cummins Inc. or its subsidiaries. For further information, please refer to Service Bulletin 337-9001, Fuels for Cummins Engines, available on QuickServe Online or by contacting your local authorized distributor. The best thing that can be done to maintain the integrity of the fuel from storage to equipment tank is to clean and properly maintain all equipment that is used for transferring the fuel from the storage tank to the equipment. Performing preventative maintenance on all transfer equipment, using a good quality filtration system, following the manufacturer's recommendations, being mindful of the weather conditions, sampling and testing, and always remembering to keep records will help ensure that you will not have any issues with a piece of equipment due to dirty fuel. 
The fuel system on a piece of equipment is the last leg of the journey for the fuel. The fuel has made it from the supplier into the storage tanks, through the pumping station, well within the standards. Now, you must make sure that this final stretch does not allow contaminants into the fuel and cause havoc with the injection system. A fuel tank on a piece of equipment can have many of the same issues as a large storage tank. Time, condensation, microorganisms, corrosion, as well as the integrity of the tank itself all must be dealt with similarly to the large storage tanks. As with the hoses and piping used in the storage and delivery of the fuel to the piece of equipment, the fuel lines and their connection must be properly maintained and serviced to prevent them from being a point of entry for contaminants. The engine filtration system is the last line of defense for the injection system. Whether the filtration system is Cummins supplied, OEM supplied, or a combination of both, knowing, understanding, and following all of the maintenance requirements for the system is critical to proper functioning of the system. New Cummins engines are supplied with the latest in fuel filtration technology from Cummins Filtration, NanoNet filters. To help prevent contaminants from entering the fuel as it flows through the fuel system of a piece of equipment, you should service and maintain the fuel tank, which includes regular inspections of the tank, changing the ventilation filter per the manufacturer's recommendations, ensuring that all seals are in good shape and periodically empty the tank and clean it. Keeping the tank full will help in preventing condensation. You should ensure the integrity of all of the fuel lines and their connections and follow the procedure for preventing contaminants from entering them while servicing them. Change fuel filters and drain the water separator as recommended by the appropriate Cummins Owner's Manual, Operation and Maintenance Manual, and Filter Manufacturer's Specifications. The prevailing theme throughout this entire video has been to do maintenance checks and services and keep your equipment clean. It simply makes sense to spend small amounts of time and money to save larger amounts of time and money. The life cycle of diesel fuel is full of opportunities for it to become contaminated, which will reduce an engine's life, costing money and time.